Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So in the previous video, you were asked to trap this thing here in between the biggest possible area and the smallest possible area. And um, we, we came to this conclusion here, where where the, the integral from, from 0 to 2, so from 0 to 2 here, the area, the, uh, the, the, um, the area here is, is trapped in between the biggest possible, which is the, the height, the, the highest value of f of x, uh, so so that's this area here, which is four, and then the lowest one is uh, is here. So this was in the previous video. Um, so now we are going to so rather than splitting up into, into into one just one part here, we are now going to split it into four parts. Okay, so so same problem, but this time we're going to split it into four parts, and then and then um, and then. Um, and then, well, our, our aim here is to increase the accuracy here. At the moment, it's, it's somewhere in between 2 and 4. So now if we split it up into 4 parts, we can narrow this, this band here. Okay, so, so now we're going to split it into 4 parts. Hang on. So I uh, split it into 4 parts. So now your job here is to add up the largest. So, so your job here is to find the, the, uh, the smallest possible area and the biggest possible area for this for this um, rectangle here, for this rectangle here, okay. So, so for this, so for this rectangle here, the biggest possible value would be would be well in in uh, in the uh, in it, it, well from zero to uh, to a half here. So from zero to a half here, uh, what is the what is the highest possible value of this thing here? Well, the highest possible value would be would be right would be right here. Okay, so so the highest possible value would be right here, and then you've got to times that with with the width. So you've got to times that with the width here, which is a half. Okay, and then uh, and then uh, and then and, and so on. So your job here is to find the largest possible value for this rectangle, and then the lowest possible va value for this rectangle. So that will go here, and then and then do the same for this uh, the rectangle here. So that would then then do the same. For that rectangle, and then the uh, and then the third one here. Do the same for this third one here. So for this third one here, your job is to um, to to come up with the highest possible value and the lowest possible value here, and so on. Okay. And uh, for for this last one here, be careful because the last one here, you um you've got to decide which is higher, this one, this point here, or or this point here. Okay. So well, think about it. So so for the last one, you've got to be careful. Okay, this point here and this one here, you have to develop a way of finding out which is which is higher. Okay. So um, looking at this here, fill uh, fill it, this in here. Okay. So find all these values here. Okay. So um, press hang on. So um, press pause and uh, well hang on. So Press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, as it turns out, it will be this. Okay, so um, think about it. Look, uh, look back to this to uh, to this diagram and think it through. Um, it, it should it should give you um, give you this. Okay, it should give you this. So now you um, you've got to think. Um, hang on, let me think. Uh, oh yeah, uh, w w once you're here. Um, you've got to sum up all the integrals here. So, uh, so, so when when you sum up everything, you've got to ask what's the biggest possible value here. Well, the biggest uh, th this area here, the, the biggest possible value for all for the sum of all four would be you getting all the biggest possible values here. So you've got to add up everything here. So the pos so so from from zero to two. So remember, up here it's just um, it's just in segments of a half. So a half, a half, a half, a half, and so on. So now sum up everything. So now it's from zero to two. Well, you've got to think um, the biggest possible value that this thing here could be would be you summing up all the biggest possible values. So so all the po biggest possible values would be this. Would, would be these. So um, so you would uh, you would well sum everything up and it will come to this. And then, and then for for this bit here, think what's what's the smallest possible value that this thing here could be. 
well, the, the smallest possible value that this could be would be you summing up all the smallest possible values for all these here. So add, adding up all of these will, um, will, give you, will give you this. So now the answer here, so, so now the, the true area would be somewhere in between here and here. So you see this here is, is more accurate. In the previous video, it was between 2 and, uh, and, and 4. You see, 2 and 4 is quite a big gap. You see, we've now narrowed it down. So now it's getting more and more accurate. So, so rather than splitting into four parts, if you split into a million parts, then, then it will give you a better answer. Okay?